This project will show you how to make a beanie hat using one standard LED. It's an ideal starter project that's quick and easy to make uh, and it's a great one to, to, to do if you're looking to learn how to make a basic circuit. To make this project you need a hat made out of knitted fabric um, where the loops in the knit um, are big enough to be able to pull apart so you can poke at the LED bulb through it. You also need a hat that has a lining, so here we can see the lining pulling apart from the main part of the hat. And that's because we're going to attach the circuit to the inside of the hat so that we can't see any of the stitches on the right side. You'll also need a piece of felt, I've used white here, but just something that um, uh, can be used on the inside of the hat. Um, and this felt is about um, 6 by 7 centimetres. I'm also going to need a switched cell holder, so we can see the, the switch on the cell holder just here. And one LED bulb, so it's just a standard 5mm bulb. I'm also going to need some conductive thread, um, so approximately about 50 centimetres of that, and some ordinary sewing thread because that's what we're going to attach the felt to the, uh, the hat with. Um, you could also attach the uh, circuit onto the felt so it can be removed uh, by putting poppers on the either side of the uh, felt circuit uh, and poppers on the inside of the hat as well. I'm going to start off by attaching the um, switch cell holder to the backing felt. We're going to start off by stitching this negative uh, part of the circuit in the corner here. I've threaded my needle, um, so I've used a large iron needle because the thread can be very difficult to get into an ordinary size needle, and I've tied a knot at the end of my thread. Um, often in textiles that would not be considered best practice because it can be quite messy, but the thread is actually quite silky. Um, so it can often just pull straight out of your fabric, especially if you're a beginner. So for beginners, I would recommend that um, tying a knot is a good idea. Whether you're tying a knot or not, you do need to remember that you uh, want to have no loose threads poking out at the end, um, because we don't want to short our circuit. So I'm going to start stitching on the negative side. And I'm doing what I called over sewing stitches, taking my needle into the backing felt, and through the hole on the circuit, pulling the stitches very tight, that's really quite important. You don't want loose sort of baggy stitches here, so um, nice and tight. And I need to do enough stitches to hold the circuit in place, so sort of five to six stitches. This is a little bit so like sewing a popper on uh, onto a piece of fabric. I'm now going to attach the LED, but first of all I will need to take the LED and identify which is the negative leg and which is the positive leg because we're going to attach the negative leg of the LED to the negative side um, of the circuit that we've just stitched. So you can identify the negative leg by the fact that it's the shorter one um, of the two. Um, there's also a, a flat piece in line with where the negative leg is on the side um, of the bulb itself. So the shorter leg and the flat piece on the side will indicate to you that that is the negative leg. So what I'm going to, to do now is to use some round nose pliers um, to twist the negative leg into a small loop. So to do this I'm just going to grab hold of the very tip of the negative leg and just twist the pliers round. You can also twist the um, LED round the pliers, it's, it's up to you which way you, which way you go. So just twisting it to make a small loop and then just pulling the pliers off the leg of the LED and just flattening it out. I just want to make sure it's well away from the other leg on the LED. You can twist both legs at the same time. I find it quite useful just to twist one leg uh, at a time because that helps me to remember uh, which leg I'm actually working with. So I know for example now that I've twisted my negative but I haven't twisted my positive. What I'm going to do now is just to stitch with my conductive thread from my uh, uh, ring just here up to the loop that I've made uh, on the LED leg. And I'm just going to do some small running stitches just to get to the point where I want my LED to sit. Just holding it in position with my other hand and then doing the over sewing stitches just the same as we did on the, uh, the board. Pulling them nice and tight and just stressing again, it really is quite important to have these thread, these stitches and the thread pull very tight um, and it can be a little bit more difficult to do over uh, the LED leg. Um, so just make sure after each stitch you're just pulling nice and tight. Again you're doing sort of five to six uh, stitches, just making sure 
um, that the, the side of the leg is held in place nice and tightly. Um, and just do a few finishing stitches, just going into the side, just to uh, produce a little knot on the side to hopefully stop the thread from coming undone. When you finish, just make sure you cut very close to where your stitches are because um, you don't want any loose lengths of thread. So now we're going to do the second side of the circuit, so uh, this positive side. I'm just going to turn this round just to make it a little bit easier to stitch. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to um, take my needle into the fabric and the hole on the cell holder and go into the hole five or six times or so just to hold that in place. And again, just as we've said before, nice tight stitches. Oops, put it nice and tight after each stitch has been produced. We're going to stitch from the cell holder down to the positive side of the LED leg, but first of all we'll need to twist this leg just like we did on the negative one. So we're just twisting the leg, as just as we did before, pulling the pliers out and just flattening the LED onto the surface. Now we're going to take our thread from the side of the cell holder right down to where the LED sits using small running stitches just the same as we did before. Going into the curved, curved leg um, on the LED. We're going to do um, the five or six stitches on the side of the leg just as we did before. Again, same rules, making sure you pull your thread nice and tight after each stitch, and making sure there's no loose threads. And just taking the needle into the side of the stitch, just at the end, just to, to produce a small knot. And of course, just trimming the um, thread very close to the stitches so we've got no loose and stray threads. So we've now got our completed circuit and we can pop our uh, cell into it. So don't forget to hold the cell by its sides uh, and just push it with the positive part of the cell pushing into the positive part of the cell holder. You can see the positive on the top of each one. Just popping it in and then you can flick the switch on the side to switch it on and off. The circuit sits inside the hat uh, just underneath this front part and the LED is just poked through one of the holes um, in the knitted fabric. So you just need to tease the, stitches, the loops and the stitches in the, um, uh, the hat fabric apart just to enable the LED to poke through. Finally, you're just doing some hand over sewing stitches just to attach the, uh, the felt onto the inside of the hat. Um, so you don't want to go through all the way to the right side, you just want to pick up this, this lining layer that's on the inside. Uh, and I've sewn uh, down the, the two sides of the hat with my open sewing stitches. It's up to you where you stitch, you could sew in into each corner. Um, you do want to make sure that you can actually access where the switch is um, on the inside of the felt. Uh, you could also have poppers on each corner so that this whole thing can be removed for washing for example.